no matter your skills, no matter your proficiency, no matter your qualifications, how big your dreams are, how great your visions are, if you miss the place of the Holy Spirit in all of it, you are nothing but the handle of the heart. How much can a man accomplish with the handle of an axe? The axe head is the power of the axe. Once the axe head is lost, the axe loses its power. For that young man, he lost power to achieve when the axe head fell. The axe head is God's factors in the equations of your life. It represents the God factor in the equation of your life. You lose it, that equation will never balance. The axe head is the power of the Holy Ghost working in the life of the believer. The enabling power of God in the life of the believer. You lose it, you lose the hope of accomplishments. The power of God that works in you is the one that causes the overwhelming outcomes of the presence of God to be seen in your life. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ever think or ask according to the power that is at work in us. You lose that power, you lose hope. May you not lose hope in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13 the Bible says that you are the salt of the earth. Is that in your Bible? Who is that you that God is talking about? He said ye are the salt of the earth. But look at what follows. He said but if the salt have lost its savour wherewith shall it be salted? He said it is ends for good for nothing but to be cast out and be trodden on the foot. You are the salt of the earth. There is the strength that you have by default. There is that strength. God tied that strength to your destiny. And it is only in that strength you can fulfill your destiny. But guess what? Some people have been stripped of that strength. That's why in the book of Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1 God had to speak to Zion. He said, awake, awake, put on thy strength. Somebody will take back his strength. Samson lost his strength. But he got it back. The mistake the enemy made was to spare the life of Samson. That you are still alive. <laughs> that the enemy didn't kill you. At the point where you lost your strength, he has lost the battle over you. I said he has lost the battle over you. Because while Samson was going through the pain and the agony of the loss, God was rebuilding strength in him. And all of a sudden, he got the strength to do what he used to do as said before. Somebody say, Lord, I take back the strength that I lost. You are not saying it like you mean it. Say, Lord, I take back the strength that I lost. Lord, I reclaim the strength that I lost. Lord, I take back the strength that I lost. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. 